Hello, it's Thursday, February the 25th. I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to look forward to the possibility of some changes and some relaxing of all these COVID restrictions. I know we're going to be still stuck with lots of things for a bit longer yet, but it does feel like there's a little glimmer of hope. And I started to think about what I've missed over these last 11 months. And when I think about it, the things I've missed the most have been to do with the people that I've either not been able to see or not been able to spend time with, uh, or not even been able to hug them. It's just those sorts of things that we perhaps take for granted normally uh, as just how life is. And yet the last 11 months has shown us um, how fragile things can be. And I'm really looking forward to when the day comes when I can hug my dad or hug my sister and her family. And I'm really looking forward to when we can get back into school with all the students and all our staff. I think so many people that we haven't seen face to face for so long. And I'm really looking forward to when we can go to church together. I don't know if you go to church or not, but um, if you do, you'll know that uh, singing is a very important part of belonging to a church and worshipping together. And that amazing experience of hearing lots of voices all joining together, similar to uh, perhaps at a football match or a rugby match, though maybe the words will be a bit different, though not always. Um, that sense of togetherness, that sense of community, that sense of family and lockdown has stripped that back. Covid has stripped that back from us in so many ways. So I'm feeling a bit reflective looking back, but also looking forward and holding on to hope that things will change. Here's a prayer for today. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us through these weeks and months of challenge and difficulty, of frustration and despair and pain and sorrow. But thank you too that you've shown us perhaps what we really do treasure and what's really important to us or perhaps who we really treasure. We pray that you would help us to hold on to that as we begin to move forward and things begin to open up and change. Help us to have hope and to look forward with joy and courage as we begin to return to something almost normal. We continue in our prayers today as we pray for those who are still really struggling and really suffering because of COVID, asking that you be present and bringing comfort and peace and love. In the name of Christ, Amen. <laughs>